help. I can't submit my documents for review. Well, look, let's look at this file and see what's going on. So if you remember the previous videos, you can tell over here what's required versus optional. Now, this agent in this example, I'm just making this up, has uploaded all their documents up here, but they have not satisfied the required line items down here. And that is what's blocking them if they hit submit for review, offer docs, submit. So you need to fix these error messages and that way you can submit for review. So let's go down here and see what's going on. Copy of fully executed contract, required line item right here. Well, the purchase and sale agreement is up here. So when you do, click drag and drop it into there. Now that one's good. Next one, confirmation of agency. So I have to find where is that document and oh, it's actually not even in my loop right now. So I need to upload that document in order to submit for review. The last thing is, to submit for review and have a perfect file that's approved is avoid any duplicates. So notice right here, I have a compensation agreement and I also have a compensation agreement up here. So I need to delete or archive the one that does not apply or that is not fully signed off. So let's open this. Okay, so you can see this version is only signed by me. Let's go back over here. And this one is fully signed by everybody. Now, I know the signatures are in the wrong places. I just took somebody else's comp agreement that's fully signed to use this, for example, purposes. But let's say, for example, we only need the file called comp. So what we can do is this is the required line item. So we will click drag and drop this over top and hit yes. Now that old one is deleted. That was just signed by me. And now the fully bound one is here. Everything is filled out correctly. There doesn't appear to be any duplicates in my loop. And I just need the confirmation of agency status. And then I will be good to submit this for review. 